Welcome back to the channel everyone. We got quite a bit of things to talk about including Niobe Labs which is coming out on the 8th, the mystery box quest, and of course the 4th key, the black armory key that goes to that mystery box. To start it off, the black armory key is going to drop a little differently than the other 3 keys we've already obtained. Now there's going to be a black armory key mold which is a few quest steps in order to get that black armory key. Now this most likely will be some kind of drop or some form of quest step during the Niobe Labs. Now Bungie has already stated that Niobe Labs is actually going to be an event that we need to complete in order to unlock the fourth forge. Now this black armory key mold is going to have a few steps one of them being killing the Watchers on the Leviathan. This mold first requires a material that comes only from Watchers on the Leviathan, harvest parts from every Watcher in the underbelly of the Leviathan. Now to do a quick recap, this will be able to be done solo. You only need one person to actually open that underbelly. Then for a quick reference, I'm going to show you where you need to go for some of those newer guys who haven't done this yet. Now once down there, there will be a code you have to put in, and it's basically just pulling these levers in a sequence. Now the numbers that you see on the screen now is going to be the actual sequence that you need to pull them in. Now once you pull them, you simply listen for the noise, and once you hear this growl sound, you know you did it right. Then you head back up top, and you don't go through the actual jumper portal thingies, you go around and you go up above them, and then you're going to follow these pipes through the hole in the wall. Now once inside it, there's going to be these watchers in each spot where there is a raid chest. Now there is going to be 25 of these watchers in total in the underbelly and you're going to need to kill all 25 of them in order to complete this quest. Now once completing that step, you're going to progress on to your next. The mold now requires a material known as Glimmering Amethyst. You can find concentrations of it in supply caches, public event chest, and strike chests. Now right away, a public event is going to be faster than a strike, so you would think this is going to be the quickest way to farm these. So you want to head to either the EDZ or Nessus, since they are the bigger areas and they are going to have more public events spawning in. But we will have to wait and see how many actually drop from doing these public events, or whether or not there's going to be more dropping from a strike. Now after collecting 200 of the Glimmering Aim Assist, you will be able to move on to your next step. Charge that Bergusia Forge in the EDZ to its fullest to gain maximum temper. Complete the Forge Ignition to obtain the Black Armory Key. Now so far, in all the three forges that we have already, maximum temper was obtained by shooting the two shield drones that spawn in in the forge area. So assuming that the Epigruzia Forge is going to be the same way, we will have two more of these shield drones to find and shoot down between the first and second round. Now after getting that four key and unlocking the mystery box, we are going to have a new mystery box quest that looks like it's going to have seven steps in total. Now at this time, these steps still are not shown to us, Bungie isn't revealing them at this moment, but when they do, I will be sure to update you guys and let you know what they are. Now upon opening this mystery box, it is believed we are going to get this mysterious data pad, which will lead us to our weapon frame. Our fates are written on the fine parchment of time, a never-ending cyclone of conflict and character. We struggle to find times of stillness in the Shrine of Peace, and watch for the next new dawn signal tomorrow. Our eyes drawn to the sky, looking for the brightest constellation that we will shape the coming days with our own hands. The Black Armory will endure forever. Now this is going to be a first step to the Lost Souvenir quest, which is going to be a three part quest, which will eventually give us our Ancient Black Armory frame, an Ancient Black Armory weapon frame with an inscription on the side, Fire of the Queens, the Lords of War, we unshack the forges, 
Let bellows blast anew, our regalia shines. We grasp tools hand in hand, burn hot, burn bright, and temper iron to sweet steel. Now this black armory frame is going to have four objectives that need to be completed prior to forging it. Now those objectives are still classified at this time, and I will update you further when they become available, but more than likely they are going to be just like every other powerful frame we have forged so far. Now that is all the information I have for you guys currently, but of course I will update you when more information becomes available. If this video helps you out, go ahead and give it a like, and newcomers to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for some more D2 content like this coming out daily.